welcome back to What to Watch with me, Toby Earl. The show that aims to guide you through your week's viewing and give you a glimpse behind the scenes and hear from the stars. Coming up, I'll give you the TV picks of the week, which are almost as good as actor Kevin McNally hiring a jacket for his role as Captain Mannering in new episodes of Dad's Army and realising the last person it was hired by was Arthur Lowe, who played Captain Mannering in Dad's Army. But first, a log cabin and sub-zero temperatures came up in conversation when I met Joel Kinnaman and Mireille Enos from Hannah, the new thriller streaming on Amazon Prime Video. Eric, played by Kinnaman, has raised his daughter Hannah in frozen isolation, and he described how he found spending that time alone. It's very good writing. I mean, that was what um, really drew me to the project, was that it was very well written, and that yeah. also, um, and one of David Farr's great talents is all the stuff that he doesn't write. Mm -hmm. He doesn't over-explain things. He, mm -hmm. The dialogue is pretty sparse. So you, mm -hmm. when you read what the, what the characters are saying to each other, you also read all the stuff that they're not saying and, and what's going on between them. And that's, the, that's what's difficult. Um, the worst scenario you can be in as an actor is when you've your face with writing where the characters are standing like staring at each other explaining who they are yeah. what they want what the story is and when everything is explained verbally then there's yeah. nothing left to play that's right and um it's better to just read that in a book um so i mean that's what his his writing is is so elevated in that way the audiences are so smart now yeah. i mean we're the evolution of the audience i think is something that can't be understated because we've been presented with so much intelligent material in the last 10 years. Mm -hmm. So the audience expects the storytelling to be much more intelligent. And I think a lot more people are drawn to complex narratives. But I will say, I think we are, have been heading into and are continuing to head into a kind of a renaissance in that way, where especially in this model of the sh short series, People are taking more and more risks, and the writing is getting yeah. more and more complex yeah. and brave and cinematic. Yeah. Well, I know that that was one of the big themes that David wanted to explore: is what makes a family. Um, these kind of like I archetypal ideas of mother, father, child, and um, you know, we have very unconventional versions of that. Yeah. I mean, this father is teaching his daughter how to choke people out and um, <laughs> and this mother is a murderer and um, so people can be multifaceted you can you can have dark aspects and you can still be a nurturer I want to give you a normal life but I'm not normal am I that is that something that did draw you to this the fact that it does look at those darker types and ask questions of them like how stuck are we with these ideas of what a mother is what a father is and how a child relates to them that this, this, is, this asks, should we be sort of presenting these sort of traditional old models? I don't know that it's presenting the idea that this is a better version um, of how to do it, but I think it's just saying this, there, there are so many different versions and let's look at this one and what the effects are for positive or negative. I mean, the woman that Eric creates is devoid of like, social gaze you know she she's like an individual in the world who who acts of her own impulses she's not she's not behaving in reference to anyone that's a very powerful tool he handed her but he also has shielded her from any awareness of her past so and all also of, instilled like complete suspicion yes, of every other person human being. um yeah which is you know a strong choice Strong parental choice. Yeah. Is it the right one? Uh, no. No. <laughs> no. No. I don't. Is it the right one? Uh, no. No. <laughs> no. No. I don't think so.